The church for the longest period of time did not have a roof or second floor. Now that'll all change in the 1840s. In 1845, Texas gets annexed by the United States, and shortly after that, the United States Army shows up. And it's with the Army that we have some massive changes done to this building. They put on an A-frame wooden roof on the top of the structure, and then to double the amount of space they can use, they go ahead and install a second floor. And there's still evidence of that second floor construction here today. Now if we look at these pilasters, these are columns inside the walls of the church, and we can see that they also have these notches cut out. And those notches are where the floor joists would have gone across the building. Also, inside the main structure of the church, you can see windows and doors on the second story part. And that's to bring in air and different light into the building as well. We can see that there's two gray lines on either side of the Spanish colonial window. And on the right hand side, there's a square. This would have been where a cargo elevator would have been located to bring goods up to the second story. And what's really neat is the second story of the church would have connected to the second story of the lawn barracks. So soldiers could go through both buildings without having to go out and go back around. There's a big preservation movement happening throughout the United States in the 1880s and 1890s, and the Alamo is affected by that. The ladies of the DRT decide to go ahead and make this into a museum and dedicate it as the shrine. And so what they decide to do is take down the second floor to open up more space to allow for more visitors to come through and to see the church.